Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Well, I'm only a couple of weeks away from the Easter holiday. Not only are Christians around the world celebrating the raising of the dead of Christ Jesus, but also the Moab, Utah gets cracking with the big Easter Jeep Safari Rally. And every year, Jeep brings a ton of cool concepts to this particular event. And this entire show is going to be dedicated to by those vehicles. Including this vehicle. This is the Jeep FC 150. Basically what they've done is they've taken an old 1960 FC, FC standing for front control Jeep, and what they've done is, well, they've left the vehicle pretty much alone. In fact, the entire bodywork has got every bump and scrape, scratch and rust, everything that this vehicle has earned over its 50 years of life on this planet. But what they've done is modernized the underside of it. They've taken a 2005 Jeep Wrangler chassis that they had up in storage along with its 4-liter inline 6-cylinder and jammed it up underneath this particular machine. The vehicle is fantastic to look at and will be a very cool piece to show off at the Moab Jeep Safari Rally. Another vehicle that's going to be at that same event is this vehicle, which could be the closest thing to production version that they could come up with. This is the Renegade Commander. Now the little Renegade Commander gets two inches of lift on all four corners. It gets Wrangler Rubicon wheels on it, skid plates, actually gets the tow hooks right out of the Trailhawk editions. This thing could be a peek into the future of a Renegade Trailhawk that could be coming down the pike very soon. And the really coolest thing about this deal, it's got a topical map wrap that's on the hood of the vehicle of Moab, Utah, so it's pretty doggone slick. Neat piece of kit. This vehicle, too, will be shown off at Moab, Utah. Another Renegade that they're showing off is this vehicle, the Jeep Renegade Comanche. The Comanche is basically a pickup truck version of the Renegade, and there has been a couple of people pointing towards this thing could be going into production. Hmm, interesting. The vehicle comes with a 5-foot bed, a 2-liter turbocharged diesel with a 9-speed ZF gearbox, 2 inches of lift on all four corners. Now let's get back to that production deal. I've heard a couple of people say, including the folks over at Autoline.tv, talking about this vehicle could end up with a Dodge badge or possibly a Ram badge, maybe to go after the old folks over at General Motors with their uh, Colorado and and Canyon, or possibly even the new Ford Rangers that's going to be coming out. Yes, the mid-sized truck wars could be back into full effect with the big three. So, interesting, interesting. But I tell you what, this thing really looks amazing. Next up on the list, this is a vehicle that you can actually build yourself. This is a brand new 2016 Jeep Wrangler JK. And what they've basically done is the Jeep folks has taken the Mopar catalog and shook it over the top of this machine. And every Jeep part has fallen onto this vehicle. In fact, one of the heads of Jeep says, you know what, if there was a piece in that catalog that we didn't use on that, I couldn't tell you what it is. Now basically it comes with 2 inches of lift, Fox shocks on all four corners, 17 inch wheels, and 37 inch tall tires. The only thing that isn't in the Mopar catalog is the paint scheme or the wrap that they put on this vehicle. But I'm sure that if you're at the Moab event and you talk to one of the representatives or Jeep, or if you just see one of the reps at Jeep out and about, and if you yell loud enough, maybe you shouldn't probably yell at them, but if you voice your opinion that you want this, this thing could go into the Mopar catalog where you can put it on your Jeep JK as well. Next up on the list, let's talk about this particular machine. This is the Jeep Shortcut. Basically, this is a brand new Wrangler JK, but Shortcut is a big part of the name because they've lopped off 26 inches out of the chassis and out of the bodywork to give it that old world look, that old mid-50s to mid-80s CJ5 Jeep look to it. So the vehicle's got brand new quarter panels, new fenders, new hood, new grille structure. It's pretty doggone slick, including these very cool steel wheels with the big off-road tires that look very vintage. Now on the inside of the machine, it's really cool, including the red dashboard, the red carpeting, red leather interior, and very, very cool uh, plaid inserts inside of the seats and inside of the back part of the vehicle. Very old school vibe. I really dig this particular Jeep. 
Another Jeep showing off because you got to have a military version anytime you do a bunch of these concepts. And this is the one, the brand new Jeep Wrangler Crew Chief. It's basically a Wrangler, well, a stretch, stretched Wrangler, JK. But this thing, like I said, is very, very long, including the first ever four-door pickup truck bed version. New hood and fenders, new grill section. Obviously, the bed's all new. It comes with a 3.6 liter, normally aspirated, Pentastar V6. 40-inch wheels and tires, military-style wheels and tires, that are wrapped around 20-inch beadlock wheels. And then its real piece of resistance is basically the inboard inflation and deflation of the tires. You can do that all from inside of the cab anytime you want. Really gives it that rock-crawling style feel. So, neat, neat piece of kit. Now let's talk about the big dog, the king of this particular show, or at least in my mind. It's this version. Yes, we teased it a couple of episodes ago. This is the Jeep Wrangler Trail Cat. And yes, it comes with the 707 brake horsepower, 6.2 liter, supercharged Hemi V8 right out of the Hellcat sedan and coupe. Now, this vehicle is pretty doggone trick. In fact, they've gained a foot in length to try to fit this drivetrain in it. And it's got a raked back and chopped windshield to give it that hunkered down look. The best part, too, that Hellcat is backed up by a six-speed manual transmission. I think they may have built this Jeep especially for me. Now, it comes with Dana 60 axles, front and rear, 39.5-inch uh, tall tires that are wrapped around beadlock wheels, and adjustable coilover Fox shocks on all four corners. Love to see this thing going into production, but yeah, it's pretty slim to none. And do you really need almost 700 horsepower to go on? Yeah, you do. You, you really need that kind of power. A little side note from this deal. In fact, the day of the taping of this program, it's come out pretty much that Jeep has greenlit officially, as far as the production version, of the Hellcat version of the Grand Cherokee. Yes, it will be going into production. In fact, it'll be going into production mid to late, or mid to, to back half of 2017. So just about this time next year, uh, or two years from now, you're gonna be able to see them in dealer showroom. So that's pretty cool do news indeed. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.